Vancouver, 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 <laughs> Vancouver. Pronunciation aside, I have for you today and for next week a <laughs> series of Vancouver vlogs. But before we begin with the actual vlogging portion, I just wanted to give very quick shout outs to all the parts that were amazing but that couldn't make it into the vlog. Mostly food things, if I'm being completely honest because my vlogging was a bit touch and go here and there and some days I'd be so at it, I'd be like recording everything and then other days I would just be like what is vlogging? I don't, I don't know her so I'd love to give a special shout out to my bougie vibe times with Erin in Yale Town say hi to the vlog Erin <laughs> please invite me back, I hope, I hope you guys like seeing me in Vivian videos we love you! <laughs> Take this away. Thanks, Aaron. So I got a sesame. I got a butter. We went for a chic dinner at Rabba Damati where Aaron kindly got me an espresso martini. And then we went for a dessert at a place called Manami. And what's become my favorite part? Verena's apartment views. Funny, isn't it? From downtown, just literally perfection. And to English Bay, where I spend all my waking hours. I don't know why, and my tan wasn't even that dark, but I, I tried really hard. Not to mention the very aesthetic brunch Christine went to downtown at a place called Global, which I'm sure if you're a Vancouverite, you already know because it's quite substantial, the building, because it looks like an igloo. Also to the Dollar Shop hot pot around Station Square, which literally had the most high quality hot pot ever. And I think the best part is that at the very end, they give you a free ice cream cone and the ice cream is just And finally, to my new found bay, either pronounced Hem, Heem, or Hem, 33, on Victoria Street. You have to go for the oob latte, you just do, trust me. Now that the food highlight reel is over, we're gonna start off the vid with some kayak. I don't know why I did that. I feel like I should have done more like this because that's what you got to do to move the canoe. Awkward. Okay, let's start. Oh damn, I've been feeling something for you lately. And I am trying so hard to just stay cool. Paddleboards and chokes. It was really right here on the vast expanse of water on Deer Lake that I finally realized my destiny. Just trolling. And this was actually the first time I have ever gone kayaking. I really enjoyed it. We went to Deer Lake, which is in B Town, Burnaby, and it was the perfect scene for it in so many ways because we went on a weekend and it wasn't that busy there were quite a few cars in the parking lot but when you're on the lake it's just like a few boats and it feels like you're in your own abyss of water <laughs> don't know how to better describe it the lake itself is actually really beautiful so if you live around burnaby it's actually the perfect place for a post dinner walk because they've carved out this trail that just runs around the lake and it's literally gorgeous, especially at sunset. The view is just amazing. I gotta say I really enjoyed my experience kayaking, but a word of warning, if you're in a two-person kayak 
and you sit in the back, you will have to carry all the weight. The front person just kind of like takes a look and like gets the better view and just relaxes and like, you know, does a little, little bit of this and this here and there. But if the back person does that, the kayak will not move. So pick your position wisely. No, I'm barely rowing. Ooh. Brian and Crystal, all the geese at your leg. Hi, Boom. And then we went for Kokoro around Station Square. As you can tell, Station Square is a good foodie place for us Burnaby folk. And it's a really, really, really unique place, in my opinion. It's quite cool because how it comes is it's dry. So it's just noodles, some chasu, so barbecued meats, an egg yolk that's not been cooked, some green onion, and a little bit of like clear sauce and you just mix everything together and the egg yolk makes it very thick so it becomes viscous is viscous even the right word am i just pulling that from my physics 12 memory um it makes it like thick basically is what i'm trying to say they also give you vinegar on the side if you find it's a bit too greasy and then at the very end if your sauce is still about in the bowl you can take free rice and like mix it in to get a second meal so it's actually quite good value for your money you're about to see the foodie assault Laura and I conducted on Richmond, BC, and I love Richmond. It's literally a mini Hong Kong in my eyes. You go there and you're literally in another galaxy of possibility. The food there is amazing, and Laura actually showed me this because her friend showed it to her. It's a place called Little Fox Bakehouse, and it literally has the best Asian-influenced sweets ever. So we had a bubble tea croissant, and it was phenomenal and then i got like a white rabbit mochi donut my mouth's just watering thinking about it you have to try it it's great and they open pretty early and i'd say go in super early because they sell out pretty fast and it's just in a mall across the street from aberdeen center that mall itself over time it became more deserted because it used to be poppin and now it's just like people don't really know about it so I think that's also why not many people know about the bakery but now that you know, you have to go because it's it's life changing She goes her own way Like I don't give a damn girl And my god she owns it So many heartbreaks Goes back to 2014 And I think that she knows it And if you see Look at all these croissants Those are what I always get that one and the bubble tea one. I'm gonna get some to share. Or do you want your own? This is our go to. We got two bubble tea croissants and a white rabbit mochi donut. And I'm gonna find somewhere to eat it. This is like a walkthrough video. We're trying to convince Norm to start a vlog channel. <laughs> no comments. But this is what we got to eat. Thanks. Our hands are so dark. This is a bubble tea croissant, and basically, there is pearls in there and cream. I think it's milk tea cream, right? And then this is a white rabbit mochi donut. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna nom on that for a bit, and then chill around have a I think. It's super early, and the mall literally has like no one. So we're in um, Omomo now, and I was quite interested in this pouch until it said the best day of my life, and we're like, what day is that? So it's been vetoed. We're getting Korean style hot dogs. Oh my god, there's so many seasonings. Mm. 
What did you get on it? Hello, and it is Wednesday now, but today's agenda is we're going to Tawasa Mills. Um, so it's like an outlet center in BC, and I just need to buy a pair of sneakers and maybe a few bits and bobs here and there. And then we're going to a little hot pot place called Boiling Point for lunch with my cousin Mike. And then for dinner, we're going to the Cineplex at Brentwood Mall. And it's supposed to be very bougie and they give you like food, like a full proper meal while you're there. So that should be fun. I've not yet watched the Thor summary yet. So I have to do that before we go. And we're seeing Thor, by the way. I feel like I missed it because we haven't had coffee yet. So that's the agenda today. And then I only have like two, three more days ish after that so trying to savor every moment anyway brain's not working we're gonna go and get some coffee right laura's being a homie and she's going to get the drinks she's swimming she's already back i should open the door for her shouldn't i <laughs> thank you so I got an oat latte hot and Norm got a latte iced. Lattes are good. And Laura's lashes are looking fire today. Damn. <laughs> what mascara is that? Is this a Tude House curl fix one? That's what everyone needs. It was really popular, I think. Mm, like you. I got as well a sweater like this, um, but now I'm like regretting the color, so I don't know if I want to get him this green one. I don't have any of his size, so I think that's destiny. We're gonna walk away now and not have regrets. Hi, I am very happy to announce that Will loved the sweater and he loved the color I had picked. And even if he didn't, he would have to deal with it and say that he did because I'm his girlfriend and that should take precedence. So we just spent like 40 minutes at Victoria's Secret picking through out of our boxes, but I got quite a few and a Norm also got some, so it's quite successful. We're gonna check out Adidas and then we're gonna go and eat food, so that's what's And it's like super dead at home. Legit, no one here. Hello, we're back in the car. Um, we didn't buy much. We honestly just bought enough panties to last five years, but other than that, there was nothing really going on. So now we're gonna go to Boiling Point to meet our cousin Mike. And yeah, and I'm getting a haircut because when I got my hair colored in London, the lady, the hairdresser actually gave me like a therapy session where she's like, you just need to learn how to let go of your hair and cut it sometimes. Um, that's how crusty it was so i'm gonna get it trimmed a few inches i've also got to say i started using olaplex on my hair and it's worked miracles i'm not here to sell it to you but i'm just saying like my crusty ends there you could see like no more they're semi crusty i'm not gonna say it like cures your hair but it 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 makes such a difference We made it and we're late, but I'm really wanting to go to this after. When did they open a Japanese convenience shop? So cute! Anyway, this is the end of Vancouver vlog part 3. But I'm not gonna say goodbye yet because there is a part 4, so it'll save me a breath or two. But I will say, see you later, alligator. Good shot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really appreciate your help. Oh, the beauty. Yeah, it's so nice. Thanks. Thanks.